This movie will show you how to customise the Automania 1 Joomla template. Before you start, you will need to log into your Joomla admin panel first. Once you log in, go to the extensions tab of the main navigation bar and select the template manager. Now you will see how to replace the default Joomla template with Automania 1. To do this, select Automania 1 from the list of Joomla templates already installed in your admin panel and click the default button. Now click on the name of the template to go to in the Edit Template panel. You will now need to click the Edit CSS button in the top right corner. If it says unwritable for the template CSS file, then you do not have any editing rights. To edit your permissions, you need to open an FTP client of your choice first and then start an FTP connection by clicking the client connection button. In our example, we use the Fire FTP client. Now look at the right section of your FTP client and browse to the demo folder and then to the Joomla 1.5 and the template folder to finally open the Automania 1 folder and select its CSS folder. In the CSS subfolder of the Automania 1 template folder, browse to the template CSS file, right click on it and then select properties from the options menu. In the properties panel, set the necessary right permissions manually and hit OK to apply all the changes. Now go back to the edit CSS interface in your Joomla admin panel and refresh your browser to see the unwritable status of the template CSS file change to writable. Then select the template CSS file and click the edit button in the top right corner of your screen. First customization option is to change the page alignment of the template. To see the default page alignment, click open the preview link in a new tab. If you want to change the centered alignment, go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using the search function of your current browser. Now delete the margin attribute line and click the apply button to confirm your update. The template will be aligned to the left side of the screen, the default aligned position. Then go to your template preview page and refresh your browser. This will make the template's position change from the center alignment toward the left side of your screen. Now you will see how to change the link color of the template. Back in the Joomla admin panel, you need to search for the A-Link selector in the CSS file. Using the color cop tool, select a suitable color for the links. In this example, we choose the light blue color as it suits very well with the template's current color theme. Then copy the color code and paste it into the new custom value of the color property field. When ready, click the apply button. Again, return to the preview page and refresh your browser to see the text links color change from the default red color to the newly set one of light blue. To edit the color of the text links when the user moves the mouse over them, find the A hover selector and paste the same color code into the color property value slot. Then click the apply button to confirm all the changes. Open the template preview page and move the mouse over any of the links on the template to see that the link color does not change. Next, let's see how to change the color of the left column links. Go back to the Joomla admin panel and locate the left COL link selector in the CSS file using the search function of your browser. Again, using the color cop tool, generate a preferred color and then use its code as the color property value. In this example, we have chosen to set the light blue color as it was previously set for the regular layout links. When ready with the left column link changes, click the apply button to confirm them. Now reload the template preview page and reset your browser session. Then pay attention to the left hand links of the template to see they have turned from red to light blue. Next you will see how to change the background color of the template. Go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using the browser's search function. Again, you can use the color cop tool to generate a color from the template's background. When ready, copy the color code and paste it into the color property value field. Apply the changes and then refresh your browser on the template preview page 
to view the newly applied background color updates. You will see the default black background color has turned to white. The next customization option is to change the header color. Go to the CSS file and locate the H2 selector. The H2 selector refers to the big titles on the template. With the color cop tool, generate the preferred color code and paste it in as the color property value. In this example, we choose the same color code for the header titles as the color code for the links, light blue. To apply all the new changes, click the apply button. Now return to the template preview page and refresh the browser. As you can see, the color of the main title of the template turns from black to light blue. The last customization option is to change the text size of the template. In the CSS file, locate the body selector and replace the font size property value with a new custom value. Again, click the apply button and then return to the template preview page to see the changes as they will appear online. In our example, the font size will increase as we have set a bigger value for the font size of the property. Here is a summary of all the customization options for the Automania 1 template. To save all the changes you have made so far to the template's layout, click the Save button located in the top right corner of your screen. Well that's it, now you know how to customize the layout of the Automania 1 template.